guys, thanks for tuning in to another great episode of the Transform Your Confidence show. You know that I love, love, love hanging out with you each and every week and sharing insights from my guests who hail from all walks of life, experiences, and expertise. I also really appreciate the time that we spend together to learn, action, and hold space for accountability each week by tuning in to insights, tips, and resources from behind the velvet rope, where today's leaders, movers and shakers, and disruptors share their nuggets of wisdom and hopefully help you get to the same place much faster than it took them to get there, because that's the goal of this show, guys. It's really important to me because you know that saying, I don't know what I don't know. Well, when I'm in sessions with my clients, I realize each session that I know what they don't know, and I'm compelled to bring them up to where I am so that they too can do the same for others. If you're on either side of that equation, my advice to you is to keep moving, keep doing, keep paying it forward, because that cycle of energy only gets better and bigger. And trust me, I know this because I've been and continue to be on both sides of that equation. Think about it, guys. It's really important. It's a reciprocal relationship that we have with the person that helps us get to where we need to get to and the person that we need to help lift up. Okay, on with the show. We continue our week theme of mindset and clarity and marking International Women's Day week. The day itself, as you guys know, passed on Monday, but something as important as celebrating the journey to empowerment by women, in my opinion at least, requires a week-long celebration. Am I right, guys? You know it. All right, so part two of how to use mindset and collaboration to boss up your life has my guest serial entrepreneur Kylie Hansen and multi-platinum recording artist Mia Martina leave nothing off the table. Kylie is a successful entrepreneur, multi-award winning author and publisher, advocate for human rights, and she owns Juanida Grand Event Center and Bistro and Golden Brick Road Publishing House. In her other businesses, she has tech, real estate, and consulting for entrepreneurs up her wheelhouse. Mia is a globally recognized recording artist who made her solo recording debut in 2010 with the global smash hit Stereo Love. She went on to release a whopping 10 gold and two platinum records over this past decade, and she is a mentor to young girls and businesswomen alike. Kylie and Mia have collaborated on a female empowerment and self-help book called Boss Up Your Life, A Girl's Guide to Her Dream Career, which is releasing on April the 8th. And they are sharing the stage with me today in part two of the big reveal of their book. Here's what to expect in part two of our conversation. They share a central theme about the book, which discusses the idea of collaboration over competition and how this brought them together to collaborate on this book. We break down the historical biases that have kept women down in centuries and how these have hindered our growth in our careers and how the book can lend to bridging the gap from powerless to powerful. We close off by talking about the concept of self-leadership and how crucial it is in these times when women are still fighting for their right to be seen, heard, and funded on how we can lift each other up if we first get clear on who we are as individuals. Please welcome to part two of the show, the dynamic duo, Kylie Hansen and Mia Martina. Let's talk a little bit about another theme that really comes up in the book, and that is the importance of collaboration over competition. Now, I know this is a big theme for you ladies and for this book. So I want to ask you guys, first of all, Kylie, what does this mean? What is this concept of collaboration over you know, competition even mean today? Um, to see how you can help other people and how they can help you too, instead of having the scarcity mindset where we think that there's not enough to go around or, um, you know, thinking we have to step on 
other people to get to where we want to be because that is just not true. There is enough for all of us and we can achieve more when we work together and we don't have to worry about holding on to our, our precious ideas. It's so much better when we feel safe and can and can create together and share, share together in a collaborative atmosphere. So why is that important, Mia? Oh my God, well, honestly, it's so important because I'm gonna tell you why. Me being the talent and for, um, first and foremost, a lot of people always forget about the team behind and who's behind you. Because without them, I am nobody. I am not more important than anybody. And it's so important. I wanna highlight how important it is for my team to be at the same level as me because there is no me there is no kylie there is essentially probably no you raj without your team right absolutely so it's, so important. it's so important that we acknowledge this and know this and appreciate we all have a job to do and it's so much more better when we can collaborate because there is something on this earth for each and every one of us a hat there's abundance in everything. So that's kind of why I was so keen on doing this book with Kylie, because without Kylie, there is no this. And without a little Mia, there is no this. <laughs> so that, <laughs> that's why it's important. I remember that. Oh my God, I totally love everything about what both of you guys just shared there. But here's one thing that I want to, you know, bring to the table because it's a reality, right? And I think this is why your book is even more important today than it ever has been, especially with kind of the idea of what people think or perceive reality to be with social media being so prevalent and with the lockdown and the shutdowns and everything. It's, you know, people are even more invested in this kind of quote unquote fake sense of reality or identity that's happening out there, right? So I wanna kind of you know, ask you guys another question around the competition piece. This idea of needing to be in competition with other women is still very much in the underbelly of conditioning amongst women because there's always this idea of needing or wanting to be more prettier, more successful, more popular, and the list just goes on and on. I personally believe this is because as women, we are taught to think from a limiting belief perspective where there are only a few spots for women. I mean, men don't have this, right? But women have this, that, you know, there can only be a couple of women that sit at the top of any given industry. And, you know, my idea is that you know, the perspective should always be from an abundance perspective because with that comes this idea that, um, you know, this concept that you guys are talking about around collaboration um, rather than competition means that we're able to amplify each other's success because, you know, growing together is a lot easier than being, you know, that one person that's trying to trek through the wilderness. But I feel that, you know, a lot of this kind of limiting belief, you know, system that as women you know, in our gender over the years and the ages have had, has had a lot to do with society and culture and religion, which has imprinted it in our minds consciously and into our souls subconsciously. I really do believe that when I kind of, I'm, I, I love to look at history and, you know, I really do feel that that one sentence kind of sums it up for me. What are your thoughts, ladies, in terms of how you address this, especially as it's related to your book, this kind of whole idea of, you know, being able to surpass the notion of competition because there can only be one or two of us women at the top um, over. Let's see how many of us can group together and rise together and show the world that, you know, women can do anything. Let's start with you first, Mia. Well, honestly, I think that if it all depends on your circle, I can't fix how you think. So I don't want to be around a woman that wants to be in competition with me. Simple. That's how right. I avoid it. You know what I mean? If you're still there, that means you're not at, you're not at my frequency because I don't see you as a competition. I don't, I don't see any woman as a competition. So until you're at that frequency, we can't, we can't do anything together. 
I, I'm sorry, you have a lot of self-development to do in this day and age. There's yeah. room for all of us to win. We're all beautiful. We all have something to offer. So that's kind of my, my take on that. Absolutely. And Kylie, do you have anything to add to that? Do you agree, disagree? What are your thoughts around that? That's true. Um, if we're wanting to make change and influence people positively, um, sometimes, oh, all the time, that requires <laughs> setting healthy boundaries um, yeah. so that you're working in, in harnessing like a really good feminine collective energy and then it is going to inspire and like trickle out to other people but we can't go around trying to help and fix everybody i tried to do that and it doesn't work um so we need to focus on ourselves and so that we have a cup to pour from and just really focus on on the mission ahead and i do uh same i think it has a lot to do with history and society and how we've lived under a masculine energy for so long and we all have masculine and feminine energy in us. And we just need to let that feminine energy out and we need men to make space for us because we're coming. We, <laughs> we are here, girlfriend. We are here. Right? We're here, good point. <laughs> we are Absolutely. here, exactly. But it's so true because if you look at all the shows, especially I've been watching these shows on Netflix, like from, uh, the the crown um rain like it's all about this it's that's what's been shaping us so now we have to break the cycle absolutely and it's really interesting because there's so much you know astrological and spiritual and numerological you know um concepts and thoughts around why you know the feminine energy why women have been kept down and why you know these ideas of how we've created society around the ideology of bringing up the man and and pulling down the woman exists and i think that i need to bring you both on to have that discussion but um because there's just so much to talk about but we are sitting in the age of aquarius things are shifting things are turning and you know this whole idea around collaboration and sitting with the importance of that having a success mindset you know two very very fundamental concepts you know in your book i think is going to be extremely valuable for anyone that is trying to figure out you know but how do i do this right so you know i'm curious before we move on when you've ever come across women that don't kind of sit in your frequency you know, where you guys believe in collaboration and, you know, working with, you know, like-minded people. Um, how have you dealt with that? Let me ask you first, Kylie. Um, to be honest, when I've experienced that, like I've felt heartbreak. I've felt like it's unnecessary. Um, I wanna see everybody win. I wanna feel safe. I wanna make other people feel safe. So it's taken me now to really reflect on those situations and learn from them and start to uh, really learn about human behavior and learn more about myself because the more that I learn about myself, the more that I learn about other people because we're all people. So now I just, I, I keep my, my, my girls close that I'm working on projects with and I, I take time to get to know, know somebody before I like, I totally jump in now. So those healthy boundaries again that I mentioned. Absolutely, because you need to take care of self before you can take of, take care of anyone else, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and what about you, Mia? What do you do? Because I know you must face it like crazy in the industry you're in. I've lost so many, so many people, <laughs> so many friends. Uh, well, they weren't really friends, they were fake friends. Um, mm -hmm. Because I have that, I'm an empath, like Kylie, I want to help everybody too, because I always look at myself and I'm like, I'm so blessed, you know, but then I forget why I'm blessed uh, because I work hard. So um, we tend to forget that. And um, so it's just been a big learning experience, kind of like what Kylie is saying. I need to learn that I cannot help everybody and I can't impose myself on somebody that's not willing to learn or change their ways. I can't do that because they're going to look at me and not like me because they're going to be like, who are you to tell me that? Because they're not open to receive those things. So again, it's all about having boundaries and surrounding yourself with like-minded people. And it's taken me uh, like, you know, I'm in my thirties now. It's been taking me a long time to learn that, but I'm here. And since I've been moving that way, things have been flowing a lot easier. 
Absolutely. It's all about the energy piece, right, ladies? You know, that's a reoccurring theme that I'm hearing going on um, in our conversation as well is, you know, just marrying your frequency with people that are aligned with where you're at, rather than, you know, allowing your energy and frequency to go down to where they are. You know what I mean? It's that's the other thing we tend to do as women, because we're taught that we have to always, you know, nurture and, you know, um, allow ourselves you know, to maybe do things that we don't want to do because a lot of the conditioning that we've had as women has been that we have to do things together. And sometimes that means we have to give up a piece of who we are. But what I'm hearing you guys say here is that you can do all those things without giving up who you are. You know, that's the key lesson that I'm learning as we're going along through this. Guys, if you are just stepping into this conversation, I want you guys to rewind this back and watch it from the beginning because you're missing out on all of the valuable insights that the experience of these incredible women um, is kind of bringing out in this book. The book is called Boss Up Your Life, A Girl's Guide to Her Dream Career. And this is a collaboration between Mia and Kylie. The book is a really great example of how women who are very successful can work together. The, the idea of collaboration um, over competition is something that you guys are showing just by collaborating within this book that it's something that can be achieved. So let me ask you guys this. Why did you decide that you wanted to come together and collaborate on this particular project? Mia, do you want to answer that? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm a big fan of what Kylie's doing. I look where she comes from and I see a lot of me in her and I just want to support her and I want to see her soar. Like I want to see her win with everything that I have because she's such a beautiful, beautiful person inside and out and she deserves all the success that she has coming for her. So I just wanted to put her out there, push her and make her a household name because I'm a fan of her. <laughs> I love that. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Kylie? What a beautiful, um, you know, love fest that is that, that I can feel happening, but you know, that you guys are sharing with everyone here. Um, how, how does it make you feel when you, when you see a woman that, you know, we all deem to be successful um, saying these things about you? Like, how does it make you feel? Cause this is another thing that we don't do as women is acknowledge the fact that we're getting love from, you know, our fellow women. What are your thoughts yeah. on that? Yeah, it warms my heart. Just how I said, when, when you see people trying to compete with you or take you down, it just breaks your heart. So it's, it's motivating. And it's that word again, it makes you feel safe. And that's what we need to do as women. We need to make each other feel safe. Absolutely. So can you tell me why you decided to collaborate with Mia on this? I'm curious. Um, we were, we were working on another project and it kind of the content shifted to this and we were having a writing session and she said no I want to do it with you and I like kind of take it back um but yeah we came together and just built like a really great friendship over the years and this subject matter is just like what we talk about all the time so it was like a really natural fit and we wanted to be able to inspire like young women. So the way that we wrote the book was, it's really general, um, but also showing our stories too, and the similarities and the differences. I want to tell you what I feel about your guys' collaboration. I feel, you know, that it's, it really shows the wide diversity of what women can actually accomplish you know, if they set their minds to it. So on one side, we have you, Kylie, very successful entrepreneur, um, publisher. And on the other side, Mia, we have you, you know, have really kind of honed your craft in the music arena. Um, and when I look at the both of you, like you'd think that, you know, the paths for women like you wouldn't typically cross, but they do because what it's all about here is aligning your value system you know, with each other. And I think that's the other key that a lot of women don't look at. What they look at are the differences versus the similarities between them. And you guys are a pure example of how your differences actually 
come together really well in the collaboration. And those things that align you is what makes that collaboration strong. That's kind of how I feel about what I'm listening to what you guys are saying. Like, how do you guys feel about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, completely, completely on point. <laughs> yeah, and it, as Mia was saying, like you have to celebrate your team and her and I, we do celebrate each other and we are busy doing our other things. So now we have this together. So we're each picking up some of the work and that's how we're able to do so many different things. Exactly. It's because like, we know we like have each other's back and we can each shine in like different areas. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Cause we both have our areas of expertise. So it works perfectly. If I lack in something, Kylie's gonna pick me up and vice versa. I love that. And that's really what collaboration is all about, right, ladies? So let me ask you guys, why did you decide that this book was going to be a, you know, guide book of sorts? Why did you decide to go down that road? Either of you can answer that. Um, I, I'll, I'll let you, Kylie, you do your thing. Um, I, I think it has a lot to do with us just really tapping into and being aware that we are on a journey and we want to help other women or anyone that wants to read this book along their journey. So if we can be some sort of guide along that, that's what we're here to do. We're not here to necessarily like lead. It's not a book to dictate. It's not a how-to book. It's not a book just about us. It's really a book about how to move you through um, from getting from point A to point B. I love that. So yeah, the final theme that I actually want to touch upon is this kind of idea about self-leadership. This is something that you guys, you know, really show up on. And I wanted to ask you both, you know, what your idea is behind that. Kylie, you want to kind of hit that up first, like for the uninitiated out there, what is this concept called self-leadership? Uh, it's there's so many things about it. It's definitely making a commitment to yourself. It's being honest with yourself and seeing where what your strengths and opportunities are, and moving moving forward, pulling yourself, not waiting for somebody to show up and save you or to do the work for you, because that's not going to stick and that's not going to make you successful. It's not going to make you be the person that you're wanting to be. And that's what it's really about like if you want to be something and do something you have to get yourself there absolutely i completely agree and a lot of self-discipline a lot of the work that you guys have um you know spoken about already the other themes that you guys um you know have touched upon the collaboration piece the um success mindset piece these all kind of tie into this idea of self-leadership so i wanted to ask you mia why is it important in society today as a woman to focus on self-leadership it's so important because you don't want any anything that you have worked on your whole entire life to be taken away from you you own that so you better learn how to like run your business love your business love yourself enough to not hand the keys over to your business ever so my number one thing for every girl that's watching here is get your mindset right and learn how to invest your money from a very early age and you'll right. be good to go. I love, love, love that. You know, incidentally, I wanted to ask you guys, um, is this a book that would be good for men to maybe figure out women? <laughs> <laughs> I think men can take a lot from this book. I'm not sure if they'll be able to figure us out more because it's not really that vibe but it's definitely good. It's a great business handbook. I think mm -hmm. men can definitely take from it as well. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of the concepts that you guys talk about um, aren't really gender specific. I mean, there definitely are things that, you know, men could really heed um, from, even though your bend is more female centric. I totally get that. And I get why, because, you know, we, we, we need as much support as we can get and give to each other, right? There's that kind of two-way street. Like, how do you feel about that, um, Kylie? This whole idea of the two-way street is, I think, the biggest theme that's coming out of our conversation and even why you guys decided to do this book. Like, it's almost like you guys want 
to pay it forward. You want those people that are entering, like those girls are entering the kind of entrepreneurial, the work arena to maybe not have to go through some of the trials and tribulations that you guys went through. Maybe they can have it a little bit easier because they can learn from your experiences and the things you're sharing in this book. Like, what are your thoughts around that, Kylie? Yeah, one of the first things that we wrote down for this book, and it starts off the book, is be the woman that you needed when you were younger. So that's that's the whole tone of the book. So all of the adversity that we faced when we were younger is what we wrote about. And we wrote it in a general enough way that it will be that there is something in there like for everybody, regardless of your gender or your age. And it's just if you're making changes in your life, there is something in there for you. I love that. And I'm curious to ask you something before we, you know, close out our conversation, even though I don't want to, because I feel like there's so much more we can talk about. <laughs> um, but I wanted to ask you guys, you know, who are some of the female, um, you know, avatars, maybe in history, maybe today, in your personal and or professional, you know, personal growth um, that you look up to? Uh, Mia, you want to, you want to, tackle that one first i have to think about this one um i there's so I, many right there's so many there is there's so many but i really like j-lo i think jennifer lopez is a great um i like how she she does her life she's fearless and she's just showing women at no matter at what age you can do it all you can do it all. There is no <laughs> limit. And you can look beautiful doing it as well. So um, she definitely comes to my mind. Absolutely. And how about you, Kylie? Can you top that girlfriend? Um, well, there's like po politics has been a really big topic the last few years, especially. So all the women that are like taking on all of that is like really impressive and how they keep calm. Um, I'm also like a really big fan of Gwen Stefani. I love how she has so many different types of businesses and she like switches her music genres, but like you still like it. She's just so cool. Oh my she gosh. was like so influential to me as like a young girl. Um, yeah. You know, it's interesting that you guys um, shared these particular ladies because as much as we look at them as powerhouses, as extremely successful women, as great role models for us to kind of coin our lives on, um, they've also had many trials and tribulations and extreme vulnerabilities, and they've never lost sight of who they are as women. And I say, quote unquote, women, because oftentimes when you look at successful women, you feel like you have to, you know, lose or you know, dampen your femininity, but they have excelled because of it. And I think that's a huge takeaway as well for anyone out there that's, you know, listening in that, you know, do I need to, especially in corporate careers, you know, you just mentioned um, Kylie politics, right? Like, you know, do we have to dampen who we are from the feminine side in order to be able to rise up and say, you know, I am a strong, you know, fearless, um, woman, and I'm going to be able to do all the things that I want to do because I'm going to do the work around the mindset piece and the collaboration piece and the self leadership piece. All are themes that you know your book talks about. Do you guys have any final thoughts that you'd like to share? Perhaps anything that I haven't touched upon that you'd like people to know about the book? Um, Mia, you want to go first? Honestly we've touched on a lot of things and I think my message is simple. Um, ladies, girls, again, there is nothing that you can achieve and there is help out there for you. There is women like me and Kylie that want to see you win and want to help you on your journey. You are supported. You are loved. Reach out to us. That's what we want you to know. We are open. So reach out to us. It's our pleasure to help you. If you show me you're dedicated and you want this, I've got you. <laughs> I love that. And how about you, Kylie? Yeah, I back that. And also, don't be afraid to learn. Learning can be painful, but just start doing it. Just pick up a book pick up our book, um, any anything that inspires you and that you feel interested in, like just explore it a little bit and then and see what happens. Mm -hmm. 
Are there any mantras that you guys follow, Kylie? Is there any kind of saying or, you know, something that you follow to kind of bring yourself back up from feeling defeated? Is there anything that, you know, that you could share with us that you, what you do or where you go or what you hear or what you read? Um, in business and career, I often say, um, take care of the business and the business takes care of you. So when I'm feeling like, oh, I just know that, you know, like if my business needs something and I do it for it, it's going to come back to me and take care of it. So I say that a lot to get me through. I love that. I love that. And Mia, you know, I'm going to take you here. Being that you are a recording artist, is there a song that, you know, kind of brings you back into your, you know, power? Like perhaps, <laughs> like what is it? What is it, girlfriend? Share. <laughs> There's a lot of songs. <laughs> <laughs> depends on the vibe. It depends. Well, it depends. Hey, girlfriend, we don't have any rating here, so you can like share whatever you want. Um, any Oh my God. Okay. Well, honestly, oh, this is a tough question, Raj. This is a tough question. So, so mm. what's, okay. So let me ask you another question then. So if you are getting ready to, and pumped and you, you, you're getting ready to go out there and perform, is there a song that you'll typically always put on that will kind of get you revved up? I'll probably put on some Mariah Carey. Really? You wouldn't put any, you wouldn't put on any Mia Martina girlfriend? No, 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 no? no. I hear my songs too much. No, no. <laughs> In my mind, I want to sing like Mariah. <laughs> I want to let it all out. <laughs> I love that. I love yeah. that. Ladies, thank you so, so much for joining me in this really important, relevant conversation. Um, I do want to close off by throwing to your um, socials. Can you guys share how people can get a hold of you? Mia? Yes, I'm on all platforms, but the best platform to keep up with me is definitely Instagram, Princess Maria Martina. So yes, shoot me a DM. And how about you, Kylie? Yeah, same uh, Instagram. I'm Kylie Hansen, boss woman. Brilliant. Thank you so much, ladies. It's been such a pleasure um, chatting with you and hanging out with you. And I really encourage everyone to go and pre-order that book. It's coming out on April the 8th. It is called Boss Up Your Life, A Girl's Guide to Her Dream Career. So whether you're a woman looking to level up or a man looking to figure out how to support your woman. Yes. This, yes. This book is equally important for both genders. Go pick up a copy. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you so much, Raj. You're so lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much for staying till the end, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the show and will action the many insights that were shared. I also hope that you'll hop online to grab their book, Boss Up Your Life, A Girl's Guide to Her Dream Career, which is available for pre-sale now. If you found the show helpful, I'm so glad. I would love your support by subscribing to this podcast on your Apple and Android platforms. Search the Transform Your Confidence show on our YouTube channel at the Open Chess Confidence Academy. And if you're an avid reader like I am, we've also transcribed every podcast into a blog, which you can access at theopenchessconfidenceacademy.com forward slash media forward slash hour dash media. And also, please hop on over to our private Facebook group at Transform Your Confidence, where there are networking opportunities as well as knowledge and resources about mindset, media, communications, branding, marketing, leadership, and advocacy, my areas of expertise for busy executives and entrepreneurs who are seeking to elevate the quality of their life. You know you've got to be there. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Until next episode, remember to be kind to yourself and also remember how important it is for you to be kind to others. You owe it to yourself to be the best that you can be, but you also owe it to others to make it count. I hope you'll sit with this. Until next time, I hope you'll have a great rest of your week. 